Now, to find the length of each side, what you're going to have to do is use your length formula and sum it correctly. And so remember, this is going to be square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus, and then in brackets, x, uh, y1 minus y2 squared. And so uh, using k as x1, y1, and l as um, x, y, x2, y2, if you sub in correctly, this is what you should have gotten. And then we're going to take the square root, and this is, in the brackets, negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4, and squared, plus 1 minus 4 is negative 3, And this comes out to be the square root of 16 plus 9, which is square root of 25. Sorry. And that is equal to 5. For the length of LM, okay, square root of, this will be 1 minus 4 is negative 3 squared plus and this will be 4 squared, and again, when we square these, uh, this will be 9, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, plus 16, which is equal to root 25, and this is equal to 5. For the next one, for km, this will be, come out to be square root of, and this will be negative 7 in the bracket, negative 3 minus 4, plus 1 minus 0 is 1 squared, and negative 7 times negative 7, negative 7 squared is 49, positive 49, make sure you watch your signs, and 49 plus 1, because 1 times 1 is 1, and this is the square root of 50, and this simplifies to be, we could write this as the square root of 25 times the square root of 2, and square root of 25 is 5 root 2. So you can see now that if we move up here, you can see that KL and LM have the same length. And so what that means is that this triangle is isosceles because two sides of the triangle are equal. We have two sides that are equal to five units.